Welcome to Never Too Late for Fitness Radio, bringing baby boomers proven strategies and innovative products for getting fit, staying fit, so you can live a longer, healthier, and happier life. Here's your host, best-selling author and fitness advocate, Phil Ferris. This is Phil Ferris, and welcome to our show. Never Too Late for Fitness Radio provides answers and straight talk about fitness, nutrition, and healthy lifestyles for people over 50. Our goal is to educate and advocate health and fitness strategies that help you to live a longer, healthier, and happier life. If you're looking for a fitness program that's fun, fast-paced, and that you can complete in an hour and gives you tremendous results, my guest today has the answer for you. My guest today is Andrea Lopez, and she has been in the fitness industry for many years. She was a college athlete, and health and wellness has always been in the forefront of her life. As a psych major, Andrea knew that she wanted to help others, but didn't really think that it would lead to a career in fitness. But it did, and that's where she spent her time. Andrea's owned her own boot camp business, worked as the director of fitness for The Biggest Loser, and was a head trainer at Orange Theory Fitness. Unfortunately, there was something missing, and she couldn't help people the way she wanted to. In the spring of 2017, Andrew discovered F45 training and knew that F45 was her next move. It spoke to her as an athlete, and she knew that the workouts would be empowering for people. She now owns and operates three locations in the Chicagoland area. Besides fitness, Andrew is aware of the, the complications and challenges of taking care of ourselves in today's hectic world. She is a mother of two girls and wife who can relate to the roadblocks that everyone encounters. Thanks for being on the show today, Andra. Well, I'm excited. Thanks for having me. Well, to begin with, can you share a little about your background, uh, F45, and the types of clients that you work with? Yeah, so I... Um... <laughs> Here to say, I am 45, so I'm really getting close to the target audience now. So, um, I have been in the fitness industry for a little over 20 years. Um, athletics and health have always just been a driving force in my life. Um, I was a collegiate athlete and um, and a psych major, so in the end, they go hand in hand. <laughs> I didn't know that I would end up making fitness actually my my job and it's been a passion, but I thought I would be in the psych field, but it turns out I kind of am. Um, and so, yeah, I just knew I wanted to help people. And um, as, you know, life wore on, I knew it was in the fitness industry. And so that's kind of the big thing. You know, I've worked, um, I've had my own boot camp business, um, worked for the Biggest Loser Resorts, ran those. Um, and then, Boutique fitness studios have become a big thing. So I was with Orange Theory. And then in 2017, I was introduced to F45. And that's when I knew I had to make the change um, and and go after being on the ground floor of F45, coming to Chicago and just kind of even getting started in the United States. Um, so yeah, F45, what is it? Functional 45. It really says, says it in the name. Cool thing was, is that it, it was developed in Australia. So it's not USA born, um, Australia by two ex rugby players. And they were just finding, um, they were missing their athletic workouts and that team spirit. And, um, so they invented F45. And then about five, six years ago, you know, they, they came to the United States and here we go. It's just growing like crazy. Um, yeah, F45 is a combination of, um, functional training, HIIT training and circuit training. And, um, what makes it so special is that it really is so comprehensive. It really does, um, embody all the, all aspects of fitness and it can really, the coolest thing is that it challenges the 18 year old, but then it challenges the 72 year old in class two, you know, we can all do it, which is so amazing in one room in one setting. Um, we have 45 crazy enough, different workout templates that work in phases. And so, you know, those workout templates give you the theme of the class and how you're going to mo- move through the class, and what your timing is going to be, but you're never going to see the same workout twice. And I just really believe that's what sets us apart. Um, 
we have just extremely high retention rates. Um, and the, the way we move your body, the way the exercises are so different, the classes are so different. We don't have a lot of injuries stemming from F45, which is amazing. So, um, man, you just, you come in and you have fun and it's a no brainer. You just come in, you do it. We, everything's on the screens in front of you. You've got a trainer or two when it's non COVID times, <laughs> um, walking around the room and either motivating you, uh, correcting form, um, giving you other alternatives, whether it is a regression or progression. So, um, trainers are extremely involved and it's a fun environment. Okay. Let me, let me drill down on several things you talked about. You said it's, it's a matter of hit and it's functional training. What do you mean by functional training and how is that different from the, the type of training that a lot of people may see when they go to a gym and guys, well, today's my back and bicep day, or this is my, you know, the, the, this is my bro day and it's just a day I'm going to do legs, you know. So help us understand the difference because you've got resistance training, you've got cardio training, um, you've got uh, hybrid training, and you even got some recovery in there. Um, help understand what what are the differences of those, those things and, and why functional fitness as opposed to more of a bodybuilding type of approach. Right. So, you know, bodybuilding is very specialized. We are, a, you know, we're a group fitness for everyone. We're, we're for the person that just is trying to, you know, feel good, feel healthier um, and, you know, continue working out until their nineties. Right. Okay. Um, so, you know, that, that for certainly isn't our focus. And then like you just hit upon um, we have what I like to say focused days. So, while it's cardio focused, for instance, on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, you're probably still in a lot of workouts doing a form of a push up, or you might be doing like kettlebell burpees, which also works your hamstrings and glutes. It's a very strength based exercise. Heart rate right up. Um, with our resistance focused days, um, which are Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday, you are probably still going to get your heart rates up because. We do a lot of full body movements. We do a lot of compound movements, which means you're working your upper body and your lower body at the same time. So like a squat to press, for instance. Um, so it's so comprehensive. You, you don't ever walk out of there not working every muscle in your body. So yeah, we don't have the bro day where it's just, yo dude, chest day. You know? <laughs> I'm going to work my quads now today. You know, it's always comprehensive. Um, and that's again, why I believe that we, um, don't see much injury stemming from us because we keep it very well rounded. Now, functional means our exercises mimic um, activities you're going to do in your daily life and help build those muscle groups that will help keep you active in your daily life. So, you know, a squat is a very valid movement. A squat to press is a very functional movement, right? We're like often coming down and then putting stuff away, our groceries away or our plates away after unloading the dishwasher, right? Um, so everything we do, say we're doing um, anything where you're using your grip, um, anything like deadlifts and things like that, you're bending over, you're picking up your groceries, you're bending over, you're picking up your child and lifting them up. So everything we do has a reason behind it. And that's where the functional comes in. Okay, so it's, it's really stressing functional movement, mm -hmm. building strength, mm -hmm. because you need strength in order to move in a, a variety of different ways. Mm -hmm. And then you're elevating your heart, which is the cardiovascular part of things, which yeah. is the, the overall fitness is I want my heart rate to go up. I want to teach it to go up and recover. Yep. So it's stronger because it's a muscle. It needs to be worked. Um, yep. And then the functional things are I'm, I'm doing activities that mimic what I'll, I may do in my sports, my daily activities and stuff like that. And yeah. at the same time, I'm burning calories and we'll, we'll talk a little bit more about that. Um, uh, and you've got I, these great endorphins flowing that you know, okay. helps, helps I, us not hurt other people. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, just, you know, makes life better, right? You walk around a little happier. Now, now why did you, you know, why is it 45 minutes and not 30 right. minutes or an hour and a half or what's the, what makes the 45 minutes the magic number for F45? 
magic because of like all the time that you need spent in various heart rate zones. It is, I guess, in the end, a little bit less than 45 because you have um, the trainer who will intro the workout and demo all of the exercises. And then from there, the warm up starts. Okay. So it is probably closer to, uh, depending on the day, at 38 to 40. Um, just science has shown that those are magic numbers. Um, and it's, you know, you can hold that type of intensity at that time range. Um, and so that's why most of our classes are 45 minutes in length. Now, I, because I've, I have a friend that um, goes regularly. And one reason he likes the 45 minutes is that he can get out, get in, get out in a little over an hour, which is his lunch break, or he can get there before. So he's not spending two hours in the gym to get 45 minutes of a productive workout. So uh, he likes it because it's it's done, done effectively, and he can get on with his life rather than spending all that time in the gym. The other thing that, you know, I I love about F45 is that it really does start. Like if, if the class time is nine, you start at nine. The clock ticks down and it starts. So it's not like you're going, well, should I start class? You know, I'm still waiting on two more people to show up you know, you know, you can rely on that as a member where, you know, if you are on a time schedule and you are out for your lunch break that, yeah, this class is going to start right at noon and it's going to end right at 1245 and you're, you're out. You know, now because it is a group class, mm-hmm. what are the benefits of working out with a group of other people? Oh my gosh, everything. <laughs> um It just makes working out fun. And the great thing about um, F45, our motto is team training, life changing. And that is absolutely true. Um, It is the most welcoming environment. So even if you're sort of new, if you're on your um, first couple days there, just trying it out, you know, the other members are always so friendly and welcoming. Everybody remembers what their first couple of days were like. So it's not clicky. It's not like you walk in and it's scary and no one talks to you and you just kind of feel like, I guess I should go over to the corner. I, I'm not sure what I'm doing. Um, so just that alone is that beautiful aspect. Um, then from there, you just, you, you, people feed off of other people. So, you know, I don't know. You know, when people are listening to this at home, if they're trying, especially during the the age of COVID, you know, trying to work out by themselves because it's kind of been one of the only options and how hard it is to stay motivated and how hard it is to push yourself because it's you and your mind and, and no one's there keeping you accountable. Well, the cool thing about this group setting is that the energy is big. You've got trainers that are so motivating moving around the room. And then your fellow members are fun. You know, like there's some pooping and hollering. And, okay, let's go. And ugh, this like exercise stinks. Make me get, <laughs> I want it over with, you know. And <laughs> the group atmosphere is to me everything for fitness. It and really that- it keeps you accountable. Um, again, makes you push harder and makes it more fun. We're not going to stick with things we don't like, right? So, you know, if someone were to come to me and say, you know, I, I'm going to run a marathon. I think I need to take that on, but I hate running. How successful do you think they're going to be? They're not going to be successful at all. So I always say, no matter what, find something you like. If you like it, you'll stick with it. And chances are with your when you're with a group of people and, um, you know, the day daily, everything's always changing. Chances are you're going to like that and stick with that more. And that's, that's F45. And the whole idea is it's, it's, it's gotta be fun. This is also right about this time of year when most people are giving up their new year's resolutions. Uh, You know, they bought the treadmill for the basement or they, whatever, and it's not fun. And and again, that um, I don't like cardio particularly. So I play tennis three times a week. So I get six hours of cardio. It's fun. I don't think, oh my gosh, I got another half hour to go. It's when I'm done. I say, man, I wish I had another half hour. Um, And I get, I get the steps in. I don't think about this as exercise. This is something, 
you're you have to do first of movement, you're sprinting, you're up, down, all around, you're in all sorts of planes of motion. It's fun. You don't even think of it as a workout. And that's why, you know, people like, some people like hiking. I mean, just, there's a lot of different ways to get the fun part of it. Uh, getting strength training in and agility and mobility. And yes. um, those take some skill sets and some specific exercises. And that's where uh, having a trainer comes in so that you do it correctly. Um, what are some of the misconceptions people may have about F45 and, and doing a class type program for fitness? Um, I think that sometimes I think a lot of people ask me on the phone or when they first come in, they want to compare it to CrossFit. We're nothing like CrossFit, nothing, nothing at all. Um, and I also think, I mean, because, you know, it is social media and of course we're trying to put our best foot forward at all times on social media. So I think, you know, people could watch our feeds and everything and be like, mm, I don't think I can do that. Like, look at those people. Um, but you know, if I can get them on the phone and through the door, then they, everybody knows that they can do it. And they just, again, find success. And it is fun to feel like an athlete. There's nothing better than that. You know, I, I don't care what anyone says. <laughs> um, and I love to say, again, in regards to F45, if you've never been an athlete, it makes you feel athletic. If you were an athlete like I was, um, and many in our doors, many currently are, <laughs> um, you are like, yes, this taps into my athletic, you know, nature. So it's just so cool to have, again, men or women that really haven't worked out in their lives and didn't play sports, but then they come in and they're working the agility ladder and they're, you know, they've got their bursts of speed on our little sprints or, you know, you see them get stronger and their deadlifts, you know, something like that. It's really fun to watch. It's just, it's great to see people grow and then you just see their confidence, you know, and then it just bleeds into all areas of your life. Um, I love that about fitness that it can just, you know, you feel so good, you feel so confident, and then you can go out into the world and feel more confident. That's got to be pretty rewarding that when people come in and their first reaction, is, I don't know if I can do this. Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden, hey, I can do this. And yeah. then, and then <laughs> I can do it better, you know, and then, and then that, that uh, again, transformative part of fitness. Um, and I coach I coach lacrosse, and I've been doing it for years. And I see that in kids when all of a sudden the light goes on. I can do this. Mm -hmm. I've, I've mm -hmm. trained people of, of all ages, and all of a sudden, when, I, when they get it, I can do this. The yes. light goes on, yes. and just in terms of how they walk, how they yeah. walk in, you know, the, the, the swagger that they get knowing they can do it is yep. very, very powerful, yep. and it's, it's very magnetic for everybody oh. else. Yes. And then those are the people that, again, really draw all the new people in as well, because they they're like three weeks ago, even I had no idea what I was doing in here. And now they have this swagger, this confidence, you know, they've already gotten stronger and it's so cool and it's so evident like it is. I mean, as you know, as you were just talking about, it's very rewarding. Now, let me ask a very pointed question. Um, why would F45 be the perfect place for someone over 50 to start or restart their fitness journey? Oh, again, because of what we had just talked about, that it's so comprehensive um, that they will experience working all aspects of, of fitness, you know, and that functional training, which will continue to help them, you know, move better in their daily lives for Lord knows how long to come, you know, and, and because we so closely are able to watch everyone, but you still have that group, you know, we do very much keep you safe. Um, I will say it's not the perfect place for someone with multiple pretty serious injuries. You know, I mean, we can modify that's for sure. But I mean, if you're going to pay money and you want the most out of F45. Sure. We can deal with some herniated discs. We can deal with, you know, bad knees, 
bad shoulders, but if it's like a multitude of injuries, I would say F45 is probably not the right place. You know, I would encourage those people to have personal trainers. Okay, um, then, that, that makes, so very, can you give us maybe some examples of how you have adapted a, a, a session to accommodate some of the more typical things that people have, which is usually knees, backs, um, wrists, or things that joint kinds of things that that may have some limitations, and then that mean that you can't function. It's just there's some limitations there. How do you accommodate those in your classes? Um, well, we can incline anything. So, say it's um, push ups or burpees or something like that. We can pull out any number of our boxes to incline. Um, same thing if you're having. Uh, difficulty with your knees, we can shorten that range of motion. And we can also just, again, pull out our different boxes where they can do a sit to stand, which is a very safe movement. So again, working all of the muscle groups that we're asking you to work your, your glutes and your quads and your hamstrings and whatnot. Um, we can even from just the seated, the box, um, we can use what we call suspension trainers, what most of the world knows as TRX. Um, but those are great for assistance on everything as well. So again, ass- assisting with squats, assisting with lunges, even, um, you know, different type of rows, keep you, keep you healthy with that. Um, yeah, just really work on that great form too. Like if the hip hinging is hurting, you know, get them down on the ground and start with the hip thrusters. You're working the same muscle groups, but you're really training the hips as well. Um, so there's lots of things that we can do, but yeah, those would be the top things. Yeah, and you can always, you know, uh, go from high impact to low impact to no impact and get the same kind of, you know, mm-hmm. ways of modifying a jumping jack without the jump. <laughs> and you're still yeah. getting, you're getting all yeah. the muscles worked. You're just not putting the pressure on the joints and you yeah. get the benefit. So much. Yeah, you can take the jump out of everything. Okay. Um now, usually people start it, or most people are good at starting fitness programs, but not at finishing them and achieving the goals they want. I mean, that's why they start them up every year. So what are the biggest obstacles you see your people going to, and how do you help them overcome those obstacles to sustain the fitness efforts over time? To be honest with you, this is a little bit different in our studio than like if somebody was joining a big box gym, you often see people drop off there. Um, We have, again, really good retention, really good attendance. I would say like, again, just referencing the past months, um, the, the only obstacles that start to happen right now is the kids have been, you know, learning from home, not going to school. So that kind of restricts parents from getting their classes in Um, so that's made things a little bit harder for people. And I would say money has been an issue, you know, times have been a little bit more difficult for everyone recently. Um, but when you break down, say the money obstacle, you can even just discuss what they spend at Starbucks or, you know, frivolous little things. And you can break it down to, you know, you'd only be spending $3 a day at, at, F45, if you want to look at it like that. Um, Generally, we kind of figure out how to work through the time issue. We have lots of different um, classes throughout the day. So hopefully, you know, we can at least get you in there three or four times. If you can get to class three or four times a week, you're going to see change. You're going to see those results. Um, I think the biggest thing, honestly, kind of happens outside of the studio, and that's we're only 45 minutes of their day. So the rest of the day is up to to you. And so the food they're putting in their mouths, et cetera, right? Right. Um, We stay within our scope of practice. We're all trainers. I don't have any registered dietitians on my staff. And and I have, I run studios. um, So we need to stay in our scope of practice. But one thing that F45 headquarters does is put on um, six week, six week challenges, um, four to five times a year. And so we're currently in one. And so that really helps keep 
people more um, accountable. Um, there's an F45 challenge app that provides meal plans for um, mainstream, for vegan and vegetarian, which is awesome. Um, they can also purchase meals from F45 headquarters as well to stay on track with that. And then there's just lots of other stuff that go into the, the challenges. So I think that would be one of the big things that we do that a lot of other um, boutique studios don't do. Because I would compare us, I, big box gyms are just so different than what we do um, and have way different objections than, than ours. Okay. And, 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 you know, I guess it's uh, the level of accountability, um, usually as you start out, the reason you want the accountability is so you develop the habit of getting to the gym. And then once you're there, you'll start seeing results. And the other part of it with, with the group is you, there's that accountability to the group. I can't, you know, I can't miss today's workout because John's going to be there or Mary's going to be there. And that, that becomes a very compelling reason to continue mm -hmm. to, another reason to go as opposed to well, I'll blow it off today. And that, and so that's one of the powers of a of a group class, especially when you build the, the kind of positive energy that you talk about. Um, well, everybody knows everybody's name, you know, like walk in, hey Archie, hey Janie, hey Sarah, you know, and then everyone's chatting, and it really does happen. Like, and then they they message each other on Instagram and stuff. You know, it'll be like, why have you been there in a couple of days? I mean, of course, we keep track of that as well, but it's also very valuable that your fellow teammates notice and reach out to you. And that happens all the time. So um, it's just, just a really cool environment in that sense as well. Now, if someone was kind of on the fence and was, were kind of thinking about trying at 45 um, and they weren't quite sure whether to do it or not, what advice would you give them to, to try and push them over the fence to, to, to give it a, give it a try and see if it works for them? Well, I mean, first I would figure out what their objections are and then face that on that head on um, because everybody has different excuses, you know? And I mean, I would say, you know, by the time you're able to, I mean, F45 is not cheap. So it's not like um, a lot of people in their early twenties, that wouldn't be our biggest group, especially in the suburbs, right? People will have moved to the suburbs, they've started families, et cetera. So um Again, you you want to you've you've tried several um, different types of workouts by this time, right? Like if you're in your late twenties, your thirties, your forties, and so on, we've done it all, haven't we? Mm -hmm. So um, you know that's where we start. And they've and again, I maybe a lot of times I haven't found anything that has stuck. It hasn't really, you know, I have tried going to the big box gym. I tried this other place. I tried this. I really try to explain everything that F45 is and just get them booked and in. And once they come in, you know, they feel that warmth. They feel that this is going to be an amazing experience and it's going to be fun, you know, and again, other members are all were already very friendly just as when that new person walks through the door. So um, if I can get them on the phone and just talk about F45, then I can get them through the door. And then once they're in the door and trying it, the chances are that they're going to say, this is, this is fun. This is what I want. And, I, yeah. and that's what I, what I tell people is go try whatever form it is. Try it. Mm -hmm. You'll know. Your body will tell you whether this is what you need. And that's and then the, then the price of health is if you can move and feel um, and have the confidence you want, what's the price of that? And right. that's really what, you know, people don't want to join a club, of any kind of club, because they want to pay money for, for the pain they're going to go through. They right. want it because how they're going to feel, how they're going to be able to act and move when they're doing everything else, when they're out of the gym. And if you can move better, feel better, do things you want to do. Yes. What's the, what's the price of that? And that's, you know, that's really, uh, you know, whatever fitness you're going to do, that's the ultimate price you're looking for is I want to feel better. I want to move better. I want to have more confidence. Yep. Yeah. You want to feel good. Yeah. 
that. <laughs> now, as you mentioned, we're, we're in a COVID time now, so everybody has some concerns about COVID. What does F45 do to alleviate those concerns for the members? Yeah, we've uh, put a lot in place. Um, we've drastically reduced our class sizes. So depending on the workout template, we have between nine and at the most 15 in class. Um, and that's going from 27 to 36 pre-COVID. Okay. Um, you're socially distanced and you have to wear a mask while you work out. Um, we provide disinfectant bottles and towels for that and then towels for your body. Um, we've been able to change up our workouts. So prior to COVID, you maybe would return to a station, um, but now you complete all the sets that you're going to do at that particular station, have a little bit longer to clean, wipe everything down and move to the next station. Um, we also have a fogger, which kills 99% of virus. So after each class, we fog the room. Um, we're just really crazy about cleaning as well. <laughs> there are places you could probably lick the floor. Um, so, yeah, I feel very safe in our in our space. Well, that's good. I mean, I, I know that most people have made that. They have to make it a priority, or they wouldn't be in business, just because it is the it's the protocol. And it, you know, when you go and you say, okay, these are what they're doing. The members are following the protocol. You know that this is you know a fa- part of the fabric of the business. Uh, well, Andrew, I want to I want to thank you for sharing your enthusiasm uh, and your passion for F forty five. If if people want to get more information, want to contact you about F forty five, where should they go? They can find us everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> I would just literally type in F forty five training and whatever um, area you're in. Um, we have three studios. We're F45 Training West Bridge. We are F45 Training Willowbrook and F45 Training um, Frankfurt. And so if you just type that in, our websites are going to come up. That being said, there's lots and lots of F45s in the Chicago area now. So if those aren't, you know, your areas, find one that's close to you. You know, we we believe in F45. So we just want everybody to be in fiber yes do we want you in our studios of course um do you want me to give my email address <laughs> yeah yeah if you want if you want i mean sure. I think pretty, pretty accessible and, and approachable <laughs> if anybody wanted to email me um it's a lopez l-o-p-e-z at f45 training.com all right well again thank you so much uh for sharing not just the information but the passion that goes behind that, which is very, very evident. So thank you for being on the show today. Thanks, Phil. It was fun. You've been listening to Never Too Late for Fitness Radio, hosted by Phil Ferris. To learn more about the guests or resources on our show today, or to listen to past episodes, go to nevertoolateforfitness.com.